Ok, I'm back. Uh, I'm a bit unwell today. I uh, got sort of the beginning of my yearly tonsillitis, or sort of tonsillitis like weird thing I've got almost each year. Anyway, uh, regardless, I really wanted to play tonight. I sort of need to change my mind. So here we are. So it's episode 2. two. So it means that actually for today's game I've got a code to insert, so the famous economy code and to insert it uh, when you're in the starting menu you need to press L wait, hang on a second, again. yeah, L L, and we need to type that code uh, I think the the emulator I'm using has got something to uh, to do that automatically but let's do it old school regardless so, so you have a, a, an idea what it looks like. Uh, I've got this sort of combination in my head since childhood. PG thirty-seven. Oops, thirty-seven. UR three-two. UR four F, which is one which keeps coming back. Oops. K two three R. UR five F. UR3F, 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 UJ3X, UH3F, URS3, and 8. And I'm going to tell you a little story about those codes. I think it says go forth, Popolin. Uh, where was I with my... Okay, I got pretty much no... No items, because, uh, yeah, I sort of died in episode 1 when I had more. Uh, I got my... still my... Bone... Uh, and regular arrows, so that's it. Um, okay, so the, the, the economy code. A uh, little story about that, so... Back in the 80s, so oh by the way, this game is from 87, it's not from uh, 83 as I said in the first episode. Uh, but so back in the 80s, 88 or 89 when I was playing this game as a kid, uh, 8 or 9 years old, nine years old um, yeah I would play the game uh, uh, Obviously, I mean, I guess it's obvious. I didn't have the internet back then uh, because there was no internet back then, and uh, I had no mean of understanding what all the items were for, uh, what the uh, finding a dungeon map and so on. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I never had access to a magazine which had this sort of information, and. Um, and yeah, so uh, first of all, I sort of discovered that thing uh, about uh, the code, uh, the safe code, uh, thanks to my father. And at some point down the line, after maybe a year or two playing the game, uh, my father did get from someone this long list of Konami codes for each world. So, uh, so so that I could jump straight to further in the game uh, because I, I was stopped uh, at one point in the game but uh, I don't know if you, you've seen uh, you'll see at the end of the session uh, what the code is like uh, turns out it's very important when you write by hand the, game, the, the economy code on a piece of paper because also, you you didn't have the uh, smartphone or something else to take a screenshot or take the code in another way. When you would write the code uh, by hand, it was very important to differentiate your U's from your V's, uh, your O's from your zeros, and the long list of codes for all the world I had did not do that. So it was pretty much useless. I tried to use it, but yeah, uh, and that's why since then I write zero with a bar across it, across it to make it very clear what it is. Uh, when I write economy code or uh, the U, you make it really square versus a V, 
I mean, uh, that's it. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's so I'm trying to level up Populon here because that's a nice corner to level up in a more stupid way. Um, and then I will try again to get the boots. I got enough money to buy the shield, the magnifying glass. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's also a bell to, to grab in the area. So the boots, I think, make my character run faster all the time, so it should save me more time further in the game. And uh, the uh, the bell rings when I get close to a uh, the door of a world for which I got a key. And uh, yeah, the shield, it's the copper shield, bronze shield, bronze shield, protects me from um, projectiles from the, the smallest enemies, which is a, a bit uh, somewhat unspecific, but you can get the, you can upgrade the shield with the, the silver shield, the gold shield, so th these are quite good. And the magnifying glass, I need it uh, in World 1 and all the worlds really to read Tombstone with uh, the name to invoke the final boss. So without that, uh, you cannot finish uh, a world. Unless you you cheat or you just type random thing and for some reason you happen to type the name of the boss. I think the, the name of the first boss, if I remember correctly from back in the days, I'm replaying it uh, in the 2000s and 10, something like that. I think the first boss is called Elohim. I remember because it's also a, a word which is quite close to uh, a name in um, in Nephilim, the tables of role game, but which uh, which I keep bringing up in my show. Uh, and it's also it's a it's a biblical biblical term. So yeah, I was showing the the game earlier to my wife uh, Persephilia, and she she was saying that oh there's no character I see here there's a wall appearing, but I knew that would happen. Actually, I should have oh, uh, this bad thing. Anyway. Uh, she was saying that Popolin was... She was trying to remember a character named Popolin uh, in uh, the Greek mythology. Uh, so, see here, here what I did, because if I don't do that, if I go straight down the ladder, it disappears magically. Um, yeah, so there's no... The Aphrodite is from Greek mythology, Popolin, there's no Popolin character. But I think it's just Apollon. Okay, so yeah, I can buy everything. So yes, nice. Thanks, Ares. And the magnifying glass. Cool. Uh, I will do without. Okay. Uh, So Aphrodite can sort of breathe underwater or remain there indefinitely while um, your health bar is what you use for sting underwater with Popolin. So uh, it's... So like Poplin would die instantly because he barely has uh, health left right now. Um, because yeah, the your health bar is your breathing bar, it's your oxygen, so it goes down very fast unless you've got a special item, which. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go there. Oh, come on.
Come on. Remember if you have your full health when you load the code or not. safe because uh, my health is terrible right now. Okay. Uh, so that's yeah the method in the ROM but for safety's sake I'm gonna do also a screenshot of that. Hmm Okay, so I should try to recover energy health, but the only way to do that is with um, will with um, by leveling up. So. There's an item which makes that wool disappear, but I don't remember where it is. Okay. Mm. Sometimes that items appear also when you you kill everyone. guys otherwise yeah I never realized before playing again that uh, you know the mechanic is is very simple you you, you level up and raise your health bar and refills it at the same time but it, it's kind of grindy already you know i never made the connection between that and and dungeons and dragons and world of warcraft this you kill things you gain xp uh, although it's 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 the exact same mechanic uh, i wonder i wonder which one which game was the first to introduce our really experience rewarding being rewarded experience specifically and raising your abilities through killing creatures let's check the chat room oh there's no one today not even bots uh, had a lot of bots yesterday Asked about the demo to Tabletop Hold, uh, who uh, is a, a very cool streamer. I recommend you check her out. And uh, actually, you can find an interview I made of her uh, uh, as under Virginia Page, which is uh, her name uh, when she she works for Modifius, uh, developing excellent tabletop role-playing games like. Uh, John Carter from Mars. Ah, 
Are they stopping to arrive on, from the top of me? Or is it just a coincidence? something should have been doing that from the beginning I would have saved a lot of arrows only 21 but I really don't want to risk like one hit and Popolon is die is dead Landmines, stuff which sticks on the wall and the, the, the ceilings, uh, stuff which falls down the floor, which I believe is what I need to defeat the, the kind of uh, giant um, squid, uh, that we, not a squid, uh, I'm losing my vocabulary, uh, tentacle creature that we, yeah, okay. Okay, I got a lemas. It's getting crowded over here. good for experience points so I'm gonna try to get those but just the one below because the other one I, I cannot access Ok, 
can ac later on I can get an item which protects me from the steam. Mm, I'm hoping that would be an object in there. The beginning of the game is really tough. I mean, okay, okay. So that's where we found the skeleton key at the beginning. go a bit downstairs because to refill my Tax system. Uh, this way, I will have, you know, progress a tiny bit. Grab the the boots and the boots and the shield. I still have time to grab the. Bell. But the the dungeon is really it's really massive. As a kid uh it was really fascinating to to manage to reach a new place or finally find a way where to uh, to access one because sometimes you can see a place like now the the wall is down but uh, sometimes you you would see a place and we you would be like um, okay so uh, I can go there somehow but how and uh, So when when you manage to, that was quite cool. Or there's also places with lifts, which you'll see later. Uh, it's quite exciting when you manage to to make the the exact jump you need to make to manage to reach a certain point. So I'm just gonna grab the bell. I think there's a lift here. Uh, you can show up if you wait for it. Ouch, no! Okay, uh, I'm gonna save now. That's gonna be it for tonight. Yes, please. As I was saying, so if uh, I'm gonna use my cursor, if this U, when you write it by hand as a kid in the 80s, it looks like a V, and I don't know, there's no, I don't actually see any V here or zero, but uh, if or if you if you swap those, uh, yeah, uh, you 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 lost your time. Uh, there's no way you can. Uh, I mean, there's so many combinations most of the time that uh, and there's no way you you manage to work out what was the actual code. So there you go. So it saves screenshots. Uh, should try the save function. I someday load it, but uh, saved it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that was. Maze of Gallius, uh, our second episode of The Realist Play. Uh, I might play another game sometime, but I really want to finish that one. And 
that could actually take a while. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, that would be great uh, if you watch this on YouTube or, or elsewhere. And uh, maybe tell me about, uh, leave a comment uh, with uh, what game like that was very important uh, for your childhood. Uh, that was a, a way, uh, this game I connected a lot with my father playing it. So, uh, so yeah, uh, did you have a, a game like that uh, when you were a kid? How old were you and what was that game? Uh, I'd be very curious uh, about that. Please consider following us on... Oops on YouTube uh, check the playlist with the other episodes uh, the shows both you can find on Apple Podcasts Spotify uh, etc and of course follow us please on Twitch uh, and yeah check the show it's, uh, it's quite good it's quite good uh, take care stay safe and uh, see you I don't know tomorrow maybe later cheers bye